Hi, this is Adam from Belltown Machine Shop. A quick little video. I just got back from helping a buddy pull a pump, um, above ground pump. And while I was bringing my tools back that I used, I thought I'd show you guys the my go-to tools for like pump replacement. I'm talking about, you know, above ground pumps, not like deep well turbine pumps and stuff like that or check valves, or anything above ground. I'm not going to discuss welding and stuff in this video. This will just be more like a hand tool one. I'll demonstrate how two of these are used. So I thought someone, people might find this interesting. First of all, when you work in the pipe field, or most repair things outside, a cutting torch is invaluable. I keep this small set I have a bigger set over there in this cart because I can pick this up and physically, you know, haul it over stuff into a building. This is a good size for a small job. Love it. Use it. I always take it with me because the t one time you don't take it, you wish you had it. I mostly use it for cutting the heads off of bolts that are so rusted and corroded that there's no way to get them off. And also when you assemble... Uh, flanges to like let's say a, a motor ha uh, pump housing I don't like to install them stressed if I have to use some of these other tools to fight to get the flanges together then I'll take the torch and I'll stress relief the pipe for a couple feet depending on the size with a rosebud get it nice and hot that way it takes the stress off the flanges and off the pump housing because the pump housing is usually cast iron some are ductile iron and you know the pumps vibrate a little bit so you don't i don't like to install stuff under stress like that so yeah that's my number one favorite number two if i don't have a um stuff doesn't line up right i go to these guys and i have a, these are pretty big mostly ones are i use are smaller for six or eight inch pipe we do with these, you stick them through with a bolt hole on a flange. And I'll probably, this one, this one needs to be uh, tapered a bit more. Like this one's a better example. You drive this through and you get it to where you can just get it in the next flange and keep driving it. And you, a good thing is a matching set that are the same. You come from both sides and it will help align the flanges to where you can get some uh, bolts some bolts in there so i use those a lot um this is handy too because it's straight so once you get it through i use it more on the hook end to get under like the mounting bracket for the pump to help align it or wiggle it free if i'm pulling the pump set the motor separate of the pump so it, it, they come in handy these, I call them sluggos. They call them hammer wrenches, slug wrenches. This is mostly for bigger stuff. I don't know if I've mentioned it. My full-time day job, I work for an irrigation district. And we have pipe up to 48 inches and 48 inch flange stuff. A lot of the farmers I do work for, it's mostly six or eight. But when you're tightening something down or breaking it loose, you can get this on a nut, if the nut's really good. And then you can whack that with a hammer to break them loose uh these are kind of hard to come by randomly usually uh, pawn shops have these or of course ebay and all the local suspects like that these are these can be kind of spendy i have them up to i think two and a half inch but i always keep them with me they have saved a lot of cheater bar use because sometimes on the bottom the bolts on the bottom flanges you can't get a cheater bar on so that's where these that's where these shine of course a grinder mostly for cleaning uh gaskets or flange faces i will tell you guys be careful a lot of the older fl flange gaskets especially the black ones still have asbestos in them so be mindful if you pull something that's been in the ground for 30 years and you're grinding the uh, gasket away just be aware that they did use asbestos in those gaskets. 
Next thing is a chain come along. And that's only a, is that a three quarter ton? I think that's three quarter. And that's plenty for uh, lifting motors out of the way, lifting pumps. If you have an L like that, you can put it on one of the legs with a uh, series. I'll, I'll show it. I have a job coming up or I'll show you. You can use it to level for install before you weld up. A million uses, pulling stuff off trailers, you know, choke it to something, wrap it, because it's a chain, you can uh, wrap it around the pipe and it'll bite into steel pipe and you can pull it off. Really, really handy. Of course, wedges. I don't wedge flanges apart. These are mostly for getting the motor aligned before you bolt it to a pump. I got lots and lots and lots of wedges. These, I'll demonstrate how I use them with the angle to align pipe before you weld it, or I'll show you how I do it to align flanges on smaller pipe. This size of a tool only really works up to like three inch, but they're nice to have. And these are spreaders. What you do is you run, out. I'll, I'll demonstrate it. You basically put the nuts in the middle you thread it through for spreading flanges to put in wafer-style check valves, wafer-style butterflies, or something like that. So, yeah, these are my absolute go-to tools. And these will get you, and none of this stuff is expensive. And with these tools, you'll be amazed at the size of stuff you can remove and replace. So let me get a setup going for this and for this, and I'll bring you back. Okay, for the spreaders here, I won't be able to show you the other one. These flanges are, are too big, but so you put the nuts in the middle. Let's say there was a wafer style valve in there, which mostly sits on the raised faces. You can, obviously, you cannot use these when you're putting in a, like a gate valve or something that uses the bolt holes to go through it. This is just for wafer stuff. Um, so you put that between there and you can thread Super close there for a second. Sorry about that. You can twist twist those nuts opposite ways and it will force these apart. And you can get a tremendous amount of power out of these. I got some bigger ones here. And the bigger ones, I usually take a washer and I'll grind a flat on it so there's room to drop in whatever you're dropping in. And it's amazing how big a pipe you can move with something like that even just with like a half inch piece of all thread. So that's super cool. Very, very handy. Basically all I was gonna do with these is, let's see if he'll stand up and not roll everywhere across the floor. I have some ones with bigger chains. I forgot that I loaned them to someone. So, so basically what you can do you can take these, you put a piece of angle across your flanges. Let's see if I can do this. Get, get, get it tippy and tip over. <laughs> you stick the angle across there on both sides. You pinch it with two of those. And if it's small, usually thinner wall pipe, you can pull the flanges parallel with those. So yeah, kind of a different video. But I do a lot of pipe work for people. I do a lot of work, machine work, welding, all kinds of work for small farmers. So while I had the stuff out, I'd show you. So yeah, hopefully you uh, find some of these tools interesting and pick some up to help you along, especially you small farm people. These, this stuff can save your day. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.